Hi everyone, here is Abdul, hope everyone is doing fine today. So today we have a quick video about square watches. <laughs> Are they coming back in in fashion? I saw a lot of watches on making more square watches, more other shapes, let's say like helmet shape watches. This is a vintage watch I recently acquired from Certina. The dial is just awesome because it's golden. And with this strap, it looks really nice. So, is it coming back into fashion? I think so, actually. I think now um, vintage watches is something that's very fashionable. And I think now the square watch fashion is uh, starting to come back. We see the reversal starting to get more recognition, uh, as it should. It's an awesome watch. And uh, this will push all this uh, square watches. By the way, I'm wearing G-Shock. So, square watches. Why do I like them? Why do I think they're in fashion? Let me take this behemoth out of here. So, vintage watches, especially square watches, have some kind of elegance to them. Have a, um, something that you cannot uh, explain. You have to wear and feel. And you can see this one. This is a Hamilton uh, square watch with this black... Leather strap looks amazing, looks really nice. Let me just focus on the dial. It looks great. And there are several types of square watches. You have something like this that is more rectangle than square. You have something like this, which is more square, as you can see. Let me. It's a really nice dial from Citizen. 21 joule manual wind watch. Pretty cool watch, let me look. Focus it in. Here we go. I think they do look nice on the wrist, even from far away, if you see what I mean. And I do think they, they complement my wrist size, because I have a 16.5 centimeter wrist size, so... Square watches don't look that bad at all. And this one, the Dugina, one of my favorite square watches. By the way, these these ones are for sale if anybody's interested. Leave a comment down below. But the Dugina looks really nice from the 1950s. Perfect condition. Wide dial, as you can see. Roman numerals, Swiss made. Manual wind. Great movement. 32 millimeters by 32 millimeters so a real square and we can get something like that which is not a real square <coughs> sorry but a helmet shape which i think also is coming into fashion again as we see a lot of reissues of helmet watches a lot of micro brands also making helmet watches which shows interest from the people and this is just a a great dress watch for times where I'm not uh, thinking about precision per se of time because it's like a plus one minute something like that this watch but if you just want to wear something that looks really nice as you can see the dial the second hand moves and jumps I can show you how it jumps Wind it so we don't damage anything. As you can see, it goes up and it jumps. The jump happens really fast. Really cool watch. And of course, my newest addition, the Thirtina. As you can see on this strap, it just looks perfect. Just looks ready for any occasion as you can see sorry about the zoom today the lighting is not that uh, perfect but as you can see the the watch just goes perfect on the wrist sits perfect it's really thin under 10 millimeters even with a domed plexiglass like this one and it just shows how elegance of the past looks now still elegant as ever 
So, I do think square and rectangle watches are coming into fashion, especially watches with unique dials. Like this one, you have a degradé silver dial, as you can see, for the Hamilton, or a stripe style like the Citizen, or even a golden dial like the Certina, or a totally different complication like the jump hour and the flying minutes and seconds here on this watch. So this was um, just my opinion about square watches. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Any questions as well. And this is as well an invitation for subscribing and liking the video. And hoping to see you in the next one. Have a great one. Bye.